In this video, we are going to discuss about insulin and associated disorders. The insulin is a peptide hormone produced by beta cells of pancreatic islets or islets of Langerhans. The islets of Langerhans has two important types of cells, alpha cells and beta cells. The alpha cells produces glycogon, whereas the beta cells produces insulin. But it must be noted here, these cells are not producing these hormones always. It's when we get the hypoglycemia, we get the production of glycogon. Whereas when we get the hyperglycemia, we get the production of insulin. Now let's see the target organs of insulin and its effects. We see here pancreas has got beta cells. And on the other hand, we have the blood circulation, which is having high levels of glucose in it, shown in the diagram. This high concentration of glucose in the blood stimulates beta cells to secrete insulin, as shown in the diagram. Now this insulin acts on different organs and cells. Like we see here, it acts on liver cells. Within the liver cells, it stimulates glycogen synthesis. That increases glucose storage. It also mediates the lipogenesis, which increases fat production. On the other hand, insulin inhibits gluconeogenesis, which reduces glucose production. And in the same way, insulin inhibits ketogenesis, which reduces ketone production. Furthermore, this insulin also targets the fat cells. As shown in the diagram, where first of all, insulin targets the GLUT4 channels on fat cells and activates them. On activation of GLUT4 channels on fat cells, the glucose molecules from the circulation is taken up by the fat cells, shown in the animation. Next is, this insulin stimulates lipogenesis and inhibits lipolysis in the fat cells. Now getting to skeletal muscle. We see insulin interacts with skeletal muscle cells by binding to the receptors on muscle cell membrane. Once insulin is present, it triggers several key processes. Let's break down these processes one by one. First, we have the activation of GLUT4 transporters. Insulin activates GLUT4 transporters, which are specialized proteins that move to the cell membrane. These transporters allow glucose molecules to enter the muscle cell from the bloodstream significantly increasing glucose uptake. Second is the stimulation of glycogen synthesis. Insulin also promotes the conversion of this glucose into glycogen, which is stored in the muscle for energy purposes. This process is crucial for maintaining energy reserves in our muscles. Third one is enhancement of protein synthesis. Insulin stimulates the synthesis of proteins, which are building blocks of muscle. This in turn supports muscle growth and rapier. So this is the basic physiology of insulin and its target organs. Now getting to the overview of insulin related diseases and disorders. First we have the type 1 diabetes. Second is type 2 diabetes. Third one is gestational diabetes. Fourth one is LAD that's latent autoimmune diabetes in adults. And fifth one is MODY, maturity onset diabetes of young. Let's discuss these one by one. The type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease. When there is destruction of beta cells, the insulin production is compromised. That leads to type 1 diabetes. Next, we see the type 2 diabetes, which involves insulin resistance. In this condition, the body cells become less responsive to insulin, even if the insulin is still being produced. Moving to gestational diabetes. Here we see that it causes temporary insulin resistance during pregnancy. This condition usually resolves after delivery, but can increase the risk of developing type 2 diabetes later. Then we have LADA, which stands for latent autoimmune diabetes in adults. This is a gradual process involving the loss of beta cells over time. It's often misdiagnosed as it's often misdiagnosed as type 2 diabetes because of its slower onset. On the far right, we see MODY or maturity onset diabetes of the young. This disorder is due to defective beta cell function and typically appears in younger individuals, often with a genetic link. Now furthermore, we see the broader category of insulin resistance disorders which encompasses metabolic syndrome, often associated with obesity, high blood pressure and abnormal lipid levels. 
Second is polycystic ovary syndrome, a common condition in women linked to insulin resistance. Third is lipodystrophy, a condition where fat distribution is abnormal affecting insulin sensitivity. And last one is insulin receptor mutation, seen here as a rare genetic condition that makes cells less responsive to insulin. So this is what insulin is and these are the various diseases and disorders associated with it. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.